Hello. Goodwin Performance has created this video to show proper disassembly and reassembly of the Skidoo QRS driven clutch. After removing the shaft and pulley assembly from your Skidoo, whether it's generation 1, 2, or 3 belt deflection adjusters, remove that. Install the QRS spring compressor tool. When removing the number 40 Torx head screws for the first time, you might need to heat the uh, screws to loosen the Loctite. Also on disassembly, take note that there are balance marks, uh, little arrows on both sides of the shivs. Uh, you want to make sure you line those up on reassembly. You'll also want to make note of when you remove the helix, You'll notice that there are a shallower cut and a deeper cut. The deeper cut goes where the aluminum boss is and the shallower cut goes in where the rollers go. Also when changing springs or helixes you'll notice that there is a plastic shim that goes up inside the helix. Uh, make sure to take that and remove it and put it in the new helix upon reassembly. On reassembly, make sure the spring is seated in the clutch as well as in the helix. And again, uh, it's very important that you line up the helix roller track with the roller when installing a helix. Uh, if you install this wrong, possible damage to the helix or the clutch may occur. We recommend applying some blue Loctite to the screws to help sustain those. And again, make sure your arrows line up. Torque spec on the uh, helix screws are 32 newton meters or 24 foot pounds. Thank you.